What up, what up, what up? Hello, hello, Urban CEOs. My name is Taria Vision Avant. You have tuned in to As Real As It Gets TV. Yes, honey, where we do all things real, honey. Urban CEO, first of all, for those of you, this is your first time joining us, is a nonprofit organization. Our mission is to be able to be the bridge between the urban community and business success. Urban actually stands for unapologetic, real bold, action oriented, and non conforming. Now, our TV show here, as real as it gets, is a bi weekly show where you get an opportunity to hear from entrepreneurs, CEOs, aspiring CEOs, and entrepreneurs all over the nation. Okay. But do me a favor, do your girl a favor as you guys are coming on in this show, if you're watching it live. Please let us know who you are. Introduce yourself. Like y'all need, y'all already know what time we go live every time. So as soon as the show goes live, put it in there. Don't wait for me to let you know. Let everybody know who you are. Include your website so that we have the opportunity to shout you out on the show. But what we're going to do, guys, is we're going to go ahead and do a couple of commercials. And then we'll be right back after here. Oh, I'm sorry. No, 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 no. We don't have commercials yet. I got to announce a couple people first. Let me shout out some of our winners. We have Deirdre Parker, Stevie Aisha Mills, and Chanel Spencer, who are our winners last week for our giveaway. Guys, we do giveaways every single week, every single month, all the times we're giving away certain things. And last week they had a chance to win. I think they want some body butters. They want some books. They want planners. I mean, and they also want some additional goodies that, in that were included individually in each one of their packages. So congratulations to our Academy members, Deirdre, Stevie, and Chanel. Also, guess what? Stevie is just a double hitter, honey, because she is also this month's professor with Urban CEO. Super fired up because in her training, you're going to get exclusive information on how to get seen and get paid. If you are not an Urban CEO Academy member, make sure you go over to the website right now, urbanceoacademy.com, and you can get started for seven days of full free, okay? But now what we're gonna do is play a quick commercial, and we will be right back after these messages. Hey, it's Angie Sims, founder of The League of Girlfriends, back with you again. I had such a great time yesterday on the As Real As It Gets TV show with my super girlfriend, Taria Vision Avant, but I cannot believe that I totally forgot to give our Urban CEO Academy members the incredible specials, one of which is my coaching package. My coaching package consists of peeling back the onion, helping you find your purpose and executing in that purpose, and also providing you with an accountability partner. This program, my clients typically pay $1,500 for, but if you don't tell me about it, I'm giving it to Urban CEO Academy members for $3.97. Just please don't tell anybody about that special because it's only for you guys. Now, we also talked about girlfriends, right? Every single woman needs a girlfriend. I know every girlfriend needs you. So we need more girlfriends in our organization with all different type of companies, and we need for you to explore the ways that you can use those books that you're creating with Taria for those additional three streams of income we talked about. Come on and join the League of Girlfriends. You can join as a BOGO, which means you bring one girlfriend with you for the regular price of $1.99. When you pay $99, she pays $99. But then I have a whole nother special only for Urban CEO Academy members and for the significant others, the daughters, the sisters, the nieces, the goddaughters of the men that are members of Urban CEO Academy. Listen, it costs $1.99 to be a VIG. Again, you can join as a BOGO with another girlfriend, or if you join by yourself, you can join for $69. You heard me say it. That is crazy, right? And don't tell anybody, please, please don't tell anybody this. The way that you get to this is... Psych. The way that you get your discount is you must go to the Urban CEO Academy right now. If you go to the Urban CEO Academy and go under the bonuses tab, you're going to see how you can actually join the League of Girlfriends for only $69 only for Urban CEO Academy members. So make sure you guys go log in ASAP, quick, fast, in a hurry, and join the League of Girlfriends today. And all my guys out there, invite your ladies, honey. Invite your ladies to join this movement. Yes, we work together. How you doing? Okay, let's get back to our regularly scheduled program.
<laughs> so what's up y'all so anyways let me shout out a couple people too if you are make sure to also include your name because you just never know guys uh because sometimes depending upon where you comment as you know we are live on youtube we are live on twitter and facebook but in some of the facebook groups please include your name when you also introduce yourself so that it can be posted on the page one of our uh ambassadors here well, we're going to be bringing her on in a minute is Rhonda hudgens owner of metro brag bags gift bag marketing and event services in douglasville georgia and you can get more at metro bag ba brag bags at gmail.com and you can also visit her on bit.ly forward slash shop mbb what up though we also have deirdre so deirdre your name did not pop up but this is deirdre one of our winners as well this week dedicated personalization concierge if you go to dedicated personalization personalization.com hold on to make sure i get that right and i'll look all these words i got to pronounce child adekatata to texas Hello, how you doing? Thank you so much, Nicole, for sharing this video as well. We need everybody to share this video, guys. Please get the word out about what we're doing here. We do so much for our CEOs, and I'm telling you, the best way to pay it forward is to make sure that you share another one of our ambassadors, Zainab Carter, of A Plus Stars Cleaning Residential and Commercial Cleaning for ATL Surrounding Areas, co-author of You Have No Idea, a book collaboration, and an inspirationalist. Yes, hello. We have Kat. Kathy Tatum with Collaborating Voices Found, nonprofit Collaborating Voices. Make sure that you like her page. All right, guys. So let's go ahead and keep this thing rocking and rolling because we also uh, want to talk about some important information. As you guys know, every single show, we like to bring up some of our ambassadors. And please just keep on sharing what it is that you do. If you share what you do, I will make sure to put your information on the screen. So you need to let everybody know your name what it is that you do, and what your website is. And if I can get a chance to catch it, we'll put it on the screen, okay? Um, but today I'm going to bring up some incredible ambassadors. You just saw me introduce both of them. They are in Georgia. And today we're going to be talking about what we're going to do when we get up out of here. So none other than Rhonda Hudgens as well as Zainab Carter. Hey, y'all. How y'all doing? Hey, hey. <laughs> How you doing? Oh man, I am doing so good. Uh, today has been a really, really good day um, for these days that we've been in the house. Um, I know you guys are in Georgia. The sun is shining out here in Texas. How, how's the weather like over there in Georgia? It's been a beautiful day today considering the storms we had last night. So, you know, it just like, yeah. thank you, Father. <laughs> yeah, they were really scary last night. The wind was whistling. The trees were moving. Ooh. My, my, um... My, um, on my um, patio, it got some things got turned around, so uh -huh. it was really heavy winds last night. Well, you know how Atlanta be. The April showers are no joke, right? Atlanta did not play around with them April showers, okay? Well, look, I know that we've been, you know, on this quarantine, right? And uh, been advised, of course, you know, unless we have to get essentials and things like that to stay home. And I've been doing doing that as well. Uh, you know, walking crown. I've went to the grocery store a few times, but I try not to go too much. But one thing I'm thinking about y'all is where I'm going when I get up out of here. Okay. And so I want to know, like when y'all, when they say that it's, we can get up out of here, we can go do what we need to do or do what we want to do. Where are some of the places or where is the place that you guys want to take yourself to? And by the way, if you're watching, also share where you guys would like to go as well. Let's start off with Rhonda. Where do you want to go when we get up out of here? I want to make a trip to Destin, Florida. It's my favorite beach spot. It's calm. It's cool. The, the, it's not overrun by young people. And <laughs> you can really go and enjoy yourself. Get out on the beach. Get out in the ocean. Lounge out by the pool, whatever. And I love Destin. It's just, it's a different vibe than some of the East Coast parts of Florida. I'm kind of a Gulf Coast girl myself. So I, my, my thoughts are on Destin, Florida when this thing's over. Oh, that sounds nice. I he I've heard that Destin, Florida has some of the best beaches, like hidden beaches that we don't even know about. So that sounds real nice. How about you, Zaina? Well, you know what? I'm just ready to get to any restaurant. I want to sit at a bar. <laughs> I just want to get some food that, you know, I can actually sit in the establishment and enjoy. I want to do a good hookah. I want a good cocktail. I'm probably even going to sit on the patio, which means just because outside is open, okay? <laughs> 
There you go. Right. Like you ain't going and nowhere I'm unless my shirt. Back. I'm waiting for my bright lights in my night late night, honey. I'm ready to <laughs> hang out because we got this curfew going on. <laughs> yeah, because I know, sis, you definitely like to make sure you enjoy your life. You know, that's funny. I was watching an interview by this rapper. I won't name his name because he was cutting up. But one thing he was saying was like, he going to still have a good time. And it got me to thinking like, you know, I think we should still do our best to enjoy this in any way that we possibly can. I know it's kind of difficult to enjoy these times, but, you know, still make sure that you do find time. To, to let your mind go. And and one of the things that I do love with us talking about the things that we're going to do, that's kind of, that's a, that's a technique called visualization. And so, you know, a lot of times when people are like, you know, how is it that you're so excited? Cause I know exactly what I'm going to do. Like I have plans and I'm not going to be just random with it. Like I know what restaurant, I was looking outside my window the other day. There's one of my favorite restaurants here in Houston. You can look right over the highway and see it. it's called Willie G's. It's my favorite I can't wait, honey, to go. And like you said, I'm going to go on the patio. And and Rhonda, I'm with you on that beach or a lake or somebody. I need to call a bay and tell him we going to the lake somewhere. I don't know what lake it is, but we going to go to somebody lake. But yes, well, awesome. Well, look, we're going to be back with you guys on today because we have some more to, uh, to talk about. In fact, our conversation, we weren't able to get our guest speaker on today, but we'll make sure to figure out when we can bring her back on. However, we're going to be talking about hobbies, right? And so many of us right now, I, I've been speaking to a lot of people who, you know, unfortunately been laid off of their jobs. And so, you know, people are now kind of being forced into entrepreneurship or forced into figuring out ways that they can make money from home. So I'm excited for us to have this conversation about hobbies. And I hope that most of you guys that are here as well go ahead and uh, join us on this conversation. And don't forget, I will uh, get a chance to introduce some of you guys that have been introducing yourself. But before we do, we got to actually pay some bills. So you know what? Let's get into that. Because <laughs> that's what pays the bills. Hey, what's going on, everybody? This is Taria Vigitavant. And I wanted to just jump up here real quick and tell you, have you heard about the Urban CEO Network? Darling, if you have not heard about Urban CEO, then you need to make sure that you jump on board. Right now, we have a special so that you can actually be a part of our Urban CEO Academy, which is our monthly membership program, where not only do you get exclusive access to events, discounts, and things of that nature, but you also get training that's designed to help you to grow your business. Right now, you can join for seven days for free and see what we're all about. All you need to do is go to UrbanCEOAcademy.com and check us out for real. Like we're the fastest growing organization right now designed to help men and women that come from the urban community that want to grow in business, that want to grow in their career, or you simply just want to be able to grow in your life. Urban actually stands for unapologetic, real bold, action oriented, and non-conforming. So come over here, check us out, join. We want you to be a part of what we're doing. Seven days free. You have really, I mean, it's a win-win situation so you can see what we're all about. All right. So join. I look forward to seeing you guys there. I'm going to talk to you later. All right, guys. So another cool thing that we're doing is every single month, multiple times per month, we're doing free giveaways. And so today we have this incredible Black Rose Beauty Oil Drops. Now, for those of you who want to be able to grow some long, beautiful, healthy hair, we're going to be giving away three bottles of this as well as three of our incredible love, money and love body butter, okay? All you have to be is an Academy member. So all of our Academy members, you're going to get an opportunity to win. Make sure, ladies and gentlemen, that you have joined our Facebook group page, the Urban CEO group page, because as soon as this broadcast is over, we're going to put a post up. And as long as you are an active Academy member, you'll be entered to win this week's giveaway. And this is by Demi Davis. Her Instagram is Demi D Designs. If you want to be able to connect with her and also get a hold of some of this amazing hair oil. Okay, so that's what I'm talking about. Now, before we also do that, I mean, before I go to our announcements, I'm going to go ahead and shout some of you guys out because I know some of you guys highlighted your business. So hold on. Let me put y'all up here. One second. One second. Uh, Marcus, I'm out. All you guys follow me. I'm a model recruiter. All right. Hey. Uh, you know, we over here entrepreneurs. We, we over here getting the bag. Okay. All right. Anyways, let me shout out Seneca James out of St. Matthew, South Carolina, entrepreneur, tax professional. Visit James. 
my one stops James, my one stop taxes. The website is james054.myonestoptaxes.com. Visit her. We have Chanel Spencer, business and book strategist, Maximum Evolution at maxevol, E-V-O-L.com. Make sure y'all hit her up. She was one of our winners as well. Congratulations to her. And that's all that I see right now. So y'all make sure if y'all want to be able to get your business on the screen, y'all def- definitely need to go ahead and put what it is that you do, honey. Include your name, your business, and your website. You just never know. Somebody may- might be looking for your services. Now, what I'm going to highly recommend you got to tell people the results that you help, what separates you. So if I was to introduce myself, I would say something like Taria Vision Avant, helping business owners write books to grow their business. My website is a book in 30 days.com. And so that's how I would introduce myself. So y'all need to make sure, hold on, I got some flyways in my face. Y'all introduce yourself. Okay. Well, look, what we're going to do now is we're going to go ahead and do our in- announcements of the day. And the young lady who's going to be doing our announcements for today is none other than Rhonda Hudgens. Hi, Drea. Hey, everyone. Rhonda R. Hudgens here, owner of Metro Bag Bags Gift Bag Marketing and Event Services, where we help you increase your reach, influence, credibility, and exposure by taking you to events that you can't attend in beautiful gift bags that we've been contracted to put together for various events. And I'm so glad to be here tonight. I, I love being a part of this. Love, would love to talk to you more about Metro Brag Bags. But let me talk to you about this wonderful organization and the announcements we've got for tonight as, that I love being a part of Urban CEO Network. And to be here on As Real As It Gets TV, well, why wouldn't I be? It's exposure. It's the E in that R-I-C-E. It's more exposure. Um, we, we, we want to say this about Urban CEO Network. We care so much about the safety of our urban CEOs and that we are announcing that we're postponing the Urban CEO Summit for June in Houston and Atlanta. But don't despair. We will have something special for you all. Just stay tuned and we'll let you know. Additionally, are you a business owner and would like to have your business promoted on our show? Send us an email for the best specials in town. Just email us at info at urbanceonetwork.com today. Do you know top CEOs? Urban CEO Network is still voting for the who's who of urban CEOs. We have eight different categories for men and women. If you or someone you know should be nominated, simply go to www.urbanceonetwork.com. Urban CEO Network forward slash nominate today. Voting does end this month, though. And, you know, let me just say, because if you get nominated, whether you win or not, you'll be in the 2020 Who's Who Urban CEO Magazine. So with that being said, I really don't have any personal announcements to make except Be kind to each other. Be good to each other because there's so much going on out there in the world. And sometimes we get so wrapped up in being shut up that we forget to be kind. And with that being said, with the quote of the day, let me introduce to you the beautiful, vivacious Zayna Carter. Thank you so much, Rhonda, for that wonderful introduction. I appreciate it. Peace and light, everyone. I hope everyone's staying safe out there. Since we are so unapologetic, excuse me, unapologetic, I cannot say it right now. It's a tongue twister, isn't it? (laughs) You know what I'm trying to say, guys. Real, bold, action-oriented, and non-conforming. I'm going to start with the quote of the day, since we all are ourselves. Shit happens, so a shift can happen. And that's what I think is happening right now. So I'm going to elaborate on that. Um, Miracles are a shift in perception. When you are no longer able to change a situation, you have to change how you think about the situation. Mm. As as you begin shifting, you realize that you are not the same person you used to be. The things that you used to tolerate, they're, they're no longer intolerable. You know when to speak your truth and you know when to pick your battles. 
you realize that silence is power. You understand that the value of your voice, it has its, its power, and also everything doesn't deserve your time and energy. Gratefully, gravitate to the vibes that suit you. Get ready for your blessings because you've been through enough. And a breakthrough is on the way, guys. Don't doubt yourself. You got to claim it. So everybody stay focused. Always um, stay focused and um, always forward. You guys have a blessed night. Stay safe. And always, I hope you guys had a motivating, a great motivating Monday. One love. Well, thank you so much. That was so good. Uh, we appreciate everything that you guys do as well. And I'm going to be bringing them back up in just a second. Uh, but let me sh shout out some more of you guys. Aren't our ambassadors amazing? Wow. And, you know, for all of our ambassadors that are watching right now, I want you to put hashtag ambassadors. Every single one of our ambassadors that are an urban CEO ambassador, put hashtag ambassadors so that you guys can get a chance to see. We have ambassadors from all over guys that are so plugged in and you are so grateful to our ambassadors. Let me see. Let me shout out some more people. Hold on. We have Stevie Aisha Mills chiming in from Roanoke, Virginia, where she helps entrepreneurs stand out from the crowded marketplace and make more money. And her website is how to make it to the news.com. How to make it to the news.com. We have Elisa Mitchell tuning. She is tuning in from Florida, six time author, founder of Mompreneur Stay Lit, providing services for high performing moms in hope and business. Check us out. Follow us on IG and uh, we're doing a home quarantine survival kit giveaway until 12 midnight noon Eastern Standard Time. Uh, their Instagram is Instagram.com forward slash mompreneur stay lit. And let me tell you something, <laughs> because look, uh, ladies, I don't know how many ladies are following me that are single. But we are home, you know, doing what we need to do. And sometimes people get a little crazy when they be around the house too long. And so you need to have your survival kit. See, this may look like a little lipstick, but it's not. You know what I'm saying? It's got a little light. Oh, oh, oh. Hold on. Dang, I did it backwards. Anyway, you got the flashlight. And then I wanted to go pop because you can pop somebody if they done lost their mind. But we got other survival uh, kits and products that I also have in my household as well. <laughs> so, you know, if somebody feeling froggy, they can jump. But Jesus got me. I'm just letting y'all know. Uh, <laughs> watch yourself, okay? But anyways, thank you so much, Elisa. I actually got that from Elisa as well. So thank you, thank you, thank you. And let me shout out all of my ambassadors. Rhonda's in the house. Denise in the house. I know some some of y'all is gonna come up unknown because if you're in the group, it just doesn't it doesn't post it up. But that's okay. Uh, so yes, yeah, so yes, yeah, so thank you guys so much. Thank you to all of our ambassadors for being here and being plugged in because we definitely need your help and we need more ambassadors. If you're interested in learning about being an ambassador, just simply hit up one of our ambassadors and they will let you know what you need to do, where you can go to join this movement and be a part of what we're doing. It's a lot of work, y'all, but it is so worth it at the end of the day. And I'm gonna tell you for for when I'm in the house by myself all the time, I look forward to doing these shows. I look forward to talking to you guys and cutting up and being able to put on a little eyeliner, you know, throw this wig on, you know what I'm saying? Do what we need to do. Okay. So anyways, I'm going to do another little commercial guys. If you have not heard about the profits conference, you need to register today. If you go to the virtual profits conference.com, you can register. It is 100% free to register. And guess what we doing y'all? Aww. We got daily giveaways. Okay, let me tell you something. We're doing giveaways. We're giving away uh we're giving away microphones, we're giving away web cameras, we're giving away a Sony camera. Okay, this is valued at over seven hundred dollars. We're giving away uh beauty lights, all types of stuff. And guess what? You do not have to pay a dollar to actually enter to win. The the two requirements is you must be registered. So you first need to go get yourself registered and you must be plugging in, okay? So you gotta plug in. Uh, every single day we have the, uh, the Virtual Profits Conference going live at 12 and I think at seven, but we go live every single day and you have an opportunity to win daily, okay, daily. So make sure that you go and register right now, today, so you do not miss out on that opportunity. Well, look, I'm gonna go ahead and bring up our uh, three, our, well, myself and then our two other ambassadors real quick. So let me pull them up. So we are back. Hey, y'all. Y'all back. How y'all doing? Y'all still good over there? Everybody, yeah.
<laughs> right. Well, look, I um I'm so excited uh because you know, one thing, you know, that we were talking about earlier guys is we were we were talking about, you know, being able to visualize ourselves. Um but while I'm always excited, well why I'm excited right now is because while some people may not look at this as a positive, there are truly going to be some people that are going to take stuff that they've always just loved doing or things that they never really, you know, took as a serious deal and turn them into real businesses. And so I was, you know, wanted to talk to you guys about hobbies. And so before I get into that, the first thing I want to let everybody know is that no matter whatever the hobby is, and I'm going to have our ambassadors give us some examples, if, if you find that there is a need for it or figure out a way to create a solution for a need utilizing a hobby, it's going to turn into an opportunity for you. I mean, look, there's a lot of people right now, and I'll just give you guys an example. So <laughs> these nails, I've been over here trying to clip these little, uh, these uh, cuticles, honey, because they are looking a mess, okay? And so for whatever reason, I guess I must have said my nails look a mess because you know Instagram and Facebook can hear you when you're talking on the phone. So when you say my nails look a mess, now I got all these nail ads, right? And you know the new little jail stuff? Well, if I was a nail tech, I would literally be selling that gel stuff. You can buy it. I bought mine, um, I think, on Amazon for the low, low. I mean, literally, I'm just going to be honest, y'all, for like $12. Everybody's not an Amazon researcher like we are or Amazon Googler. And another thing, just because you can buy it from Amazon for $12, this is the American way, you could go ahead and sell it for an additional fee of, let's say you buy the package for $12, but with it, it comes with you do an instructional training video for like $75. So you can say, let me teach you how to start your own nail business from home. You say you got to buy this package for 12 bucks so they can have their own jail products. And then you do a series of trainings teaching them how to be able to do the nails. And then they can take it further into doing nails for other people if they wish, or at least they can have their nails done themselves. You're going to find that just because you're referring that information even to your clients, when, we, when they can come back to get their nails, they're still going to come get their nails done from you. But there are some people who maybe they find a gift and a love for that. And I'm going to tell you guys, one thing about life is that when you help other people to achieve the, the, the things that they want to do in life or the, the, the purpose of their life, I'm promising you, God will always reward you. And so I never look at an opportunity to give somebody value as an opportunity to lose a client or lose a customer. And so that's just an example of how you could literally turn something. I mean, yes, doing nails is not necessarily a hobby, but maybe, you know, if you do nails, you're probably at home playing with your nails, doing designs. You can create courses on that literally right now and get paid major money, right? There's people right now in quarantine saying, dog, I need to learn how to do nails, or maybe this is the time for me to start my own nail business. And they're looking for someone like you to teach them how to do that. So that's an example. Um, how about you guys? I, um, you know, I know that there's just so many different, you know, hobbies right now that people are probably can actually turn into businesses. So, so what are some hobbies that you guys think could be like good business ideas? Well, I would say gardening. Hmm. Because, let, let, you know, a lot of people, if they're not apartment dwellers, they may be home dwellers. They've got all of this time. They can't get the maintenance people to come out and do flowers and all, but they can do the flowers. They can even have them delivered to their home and get out and do the flowers. Well, the thing is, you can start that. And I know this for a fact. You can take that into your own business because several years ago in the 90s, I did that. I taught myself what I needed to know. I put myself out there to someone on the local basis who trained me even more. And before it was over, I was doing jobs of my own on the side. And there's really big, if you don't do anything but create containers, even for apartment dwellers, people who have balconies and all, if you can create them a beautiful container that's got plants that'll last all summer long and bloom and be beautiful, you can make big, big bucks. You can make anything from a little pot that you might charge $25 for someone to fill, or you can get those really big pots or the pots are like a hundred bucks and you put a hundred bucks of flowers in there and you got to make a profit. So that's like a three or $400 pot. And you do that in someone's balcony. You're not real. You're still social distancing. Mm -hmm. You could do that and you could turn that into that into very lucrative business overnight, pretty much. That's and I love that idea. Absolutely. Because 
there's some people who do want to have plants and flowers. And I mean, now more of us are really saying, you know what, I need a garden. And while they saying they want it, they really don't want to do the gardening. You know what I'm saying? So hiring someone who does have a problem getting out there and getting dirty or even just someone, like you said, that can even start it off for them, like start off the process. And now you just kind of show them, OK, this is what you need to do. Water it and stuff like that. I love that idea, Rhonda. That is so ingenious. Yes, ma'am. And there's an upsell to that. If okay. they don't want to take uh, care of it, there's the maintenance side of it. So you can always put a maintenance package in with that. Mm -hmm. <laughs> come back every couple of weeks to deadhead and make sure everything's the way it needs to be so can, can we say uh that is called residuals residuals yes, yes ma'am mm -hmm. i love that how about you Zana? well i was thinking because we're we're having to pack our freezers up and our cupboards and our refrigerator and pantries up then maybe you would love you like cooking and so maybe you can start something with cooking you can start meal prepping for people um, showing your recipes, you know, online, start your own YouTube channel, um, you know, go live more often, shit, you know, create a recipe book even. Um, mm -hmm. I was also thinking if you love to write, then there's the publishing side and being a ghostwriter for people. Um, that's, you can make money that way and they can, that can tie into what you do with the, you know, the book conference, you know, the book profits conference and stuff like that, you know. Um, so also I was thinking um, painting. Everybody loves artwork. And so if you love to paint, you know, and you're really good at it, maybe someone would like to purchase your artwork or you can start having an online art gallery and, start, yeah. you know, sell artwork and jewelry and jewelry making and things like that. So those are just a few. I love it. I, well, that was, that's a lot of ideas and absolutely great ideas. I mean, shoot, I was looking up the I wanted to see like some different recipes for home uh home style potatoes, you know, breakfast potatoes. And yeah. I went to YouTube and I mean, I was seeing people that have hundreds of thousands of views. And I don't know if y'all know, but when you get like a hundred thousand views on a video, you get money. <laughs> YouTube will pay you money. Not only will YouTube pay you money, but then you can also get people to sponsor you that from pan companies, oils, you know, the potatoes. I mean, all of that. You got people sponsor you in different ways like that. And so absolutely. And I love the painting. In fact, the other day. I saw somebody doing a painting party in her house, but it made me think of, cause you know, like the sipping paints, well, we yeah. might not be able to do a physical one where everybody gets together, but just because everybody can't get together doesn't mean that your sipping paint should stop. You could create where everybody can order the frame from you. Cause you know, sometimes people create a frame with the outline or everybody just order them a frame. You show them where to go. They can go to your website and order it. And then you can do it all virtual, like have everybody plug in virtually and show everybody to OK, y'all, let's do this. And we can everybody can be on video and you can do virtual paint and sip. So it's all kinds of, you know, the thing is, guys, and, and y'all tell me how y'all feel. I feel like in order to be able to be innovative, you must be around people who think like that. You know what I'm saying? And for me, like, I don't want to be necessarily around someone who is allowing their circumstances of whatever has happened determine their actions. You know, I feel that victors are the ones that see the circumstance and figure out a way to make it a positive, right? So how do y'all feel about that? I think that's absolutely true because, you know, let's just get honest. If a positive mindset makes you look at everything positively, and if you dwell on those positive things and those thoughts become wor words, your words become actions, and then they're, uh, they, they keep going. There's a whole thing that goes with that I, off the top of my head. I can't remember it. I just posted it this past week. But it, you start with those positive things and you feed yourself positivity and you're feeding yourself life because, you know, the scripture says life and death are in the power of the tongue. So if you're talking negative to yourself and negative about the circumstances, then it's just going to get worse. But if you talk positive about it, it's like the storms last night. I, you know, my thing was, God's got this. It's going to be fine. Nothing's touched our property since I've lived here for 10 years. I didn't see that it was going to change last night. I was positive. But my roommate gets up today and says, hey, you were right. Nothing happened. Well, it hasn't happened in 10 years. It's not going to. Just like we talked to begin with, we had that first conversation on As Real As It Gets TV about positivity, about not letting this make us negative. 
And we're seeing a turnaround. Even New York City has a turnaround now. But it comes because people refuse to stay down and out about it. That's mm -hmm. my thoughts. That's good. That's real good. And hold on. Let me just shout out a couple of people, too, before I get your answer. Uh, saying, uh, hold on. Uh, let me see. Stevie said, my other cousin has started creating beautiful masks that she has sewn and even left a slit inside where you can put your own filter. Praise the Lord. Thank you for the filter insertions. Because <laughs> I keep telling people y'all got to make sure y'all have some place to put them filters. Now, uh, somebody else, unfortunately, again, if you're typing in the Facebook group, just make sure to include your name. I'm clicking online Friday on YouTube to do quick 30-minute meals. Make sure to share your website so that we can highlight you about your 30-minute meals. That's super dope, right? Um, uh, Sine says, I was just listening to a news story that said artwork sales have gone up tremendously. Yeah, a lot of stuff has been going up. Hair sales. <laughs> Listen, I got my wigs on the way. Listen, nail stuff. Uh, at home do-it-yourself products like I almost bought well actually I did I bought this jewelry at home do-it-yourself thing that I'm gonna turn into a course for urban CEO and show you guys how to make these jewelries I'm gonna give these uh, pieces away I'm excited like just straight up Stevie says my friend is doing a virtual paint party where they're selling kits there we go I'm trying to tell you I'm trying to tell you so definitely guys there's so many opportunities that are available um Sis, what you think? What are what do you think about the whole comment? Like I was saying, in regards to uh, just being able to turn, as Beyonce would say, the mother would say, turning uh, lemon, uh, turning lemonades into, I mean, lemons into lemonade. Well, first of all, just like Rhonda said, it starts with your mindset. You cannot feed yourself dirt, and you know, and just think that you're going to grow. You have, yeah, you have to grow from the dirt, but you can't. You, it starts with a, a refreshing of feeding yourself life. And speaking life over yourself and others. And um, energy is contagious, negative, and alike, and positive alike. So you just have to be very careful who you surround yourself with, who you talk to, what you watch. Even though you you know your spirit may be strong enough to differentiate the two, you can't look at the news all day and let them feed you, you know, and take over your mindset because they're repeating the same thing to keep us in fear. The thing is for us to overcome that. We don't need to be in fear because fear is, you know, it's false. It's false evidence of being real. So mm -hmm. we cannot continue to think that that's going to help us to move forward or grow or take this time that we have. And how are we going to blossom in our creativity if we're being negative? We can't even get to that realm of thinking because we're so stuck in, in, in sulking around. And I don't understand how people are so upset and sad about this situation right now when people are actually losing their lives and you woke up this morning. So how can you even have space to be, you know, in, in a sulky mood or wake up on the wrong side of the bed when he blessed us, you know, to see another day? Mm. I'm mind boggled by it, actually, sis and Rhonda. I have no idea why people are so, you know, like they are today. But I, I, I pray for them because I pray for all of us because it's important us to keep each other uplifted and inspired right now it's really important it is so important and that that that's so that's so powerful that you said that you know just just being grateful that god woke us up for another day and i'm, I'm a big believer if he continues to wake you up there's a purpose in that and the purpose ain't yeah. to just be just sitting here upset and, and no sometimes he brings us through certain things to make us stronger and i can i can promise everybody here can touch and agree that you would not be where you were today if it were not what you had been through and so is we got to learn to turn these opportunities into opportunities okay uh i also want to just say one more thing and i'll have you guys to to say a last and party word before we get ready to wrap this thing up i will tell people that it is okay to feel right but don't stay in that space. Like, you know what I'm saying? Just just like what Zainab said, sis said, she said, we woke up today. I get it. Look, especially if you plugged into the news, like turn it off. You know, CNN stands for constant negative news. And by the way, let me just add something. How do you think the news is able to stay on? They got to pay for this programming. Who pays for the programming? <laughs> Probably the people that they keep talking about, okay? So you got to understand, there's a lot of reasoning why certain things are consistently put in front of us, okay? We won't go into that to go too deep, but we do have to understand that it is programming. Television is 
programming. It's designed to program your thinking. And so we have to make sure that we are aware of that and consciously in control of our thinking. And so it's okay if you wake up and you have a moment, okay? Don't feel bad about your moment. But let me tell you something. You got to pick yourself up and keep it moving. Stay connected to people who are positive. I call I called sis the other day on the phone and we were just talking and having a good time. And, and I know that whenever I call her, it's always going to be positive. Like, I don't have to worry. Even if she's going through something or if I'm going through something, we're going to finish the conversation positively. And that is so important to have that in your life. And if you don't physically have people in your life, because I already know. My urban CEOs, y'all gonna say, well, I don't got nobody to call. Okay, you got a, you got a TV show to plug into twice a week. Because I promise you, we're going to make sure we stay positive over okay. here. Okay? And you got plenty of ambassadors right here. What did Rhonda say? Hit me up, right? Look, we are here. And so plug in. You see somebody you like, connect with them, okay? And, and reach out. And, and make it your business to be around positive and motivated people. People always ask me, Taria, how do you come up with all these ideas? Some people say, you're so smart. No, I just surround myself with people who are smarter than me. Okay, that's it. I just get around people who are more, more motivated than me, even if that requires me spending money. I'm not going to lie. Like if I have to invest so that I can be around someone in their space, even if I kind of know it, I'm going to still do it. I'm not saying that y'all have to do it, but I am saying you got to figure out a way to get yourself around people who are just as motivated, if not more than you are, right? Okay, Rhonda, what do you have to say? Any last imparting words to our urban CEOs? Well, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to piggyback on what you just said, and it just really comes down to, even if you have to invest in yourself by buying a program, uh, paying for a seminar, a webinar, so you can be around, and maybe it is someone that's where you want to go, and you're looking at this and thinking, well, this is just this big, hole in what I was doing because everything I was doing was an in real life thing. Well, go ahead and motivate yourself. Spend some time around the um, John Maxwell's and the Lisa Nicholas's of the world. I mean, she's doing something free right now. You should, you know, if you need motivation, there's a place you can be. We've got motivation here. So don't, don't get down. You got an idea. You think it's a hobby or an idea that might be, uh, make money. Talk to us. Any of us are more than willing. You know, Rhonda, can I hit you up? Can, I, can we have a phone call? Sure you can. So that would be my thing. That just don't let yourself get in that corner and, and let it get to you. Find some reason to get out of that corner and, and look at the sun every day because some, like Zaina said earlier, some people didn't get to. Mm. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Go ahead, sis. What you got to say? Well, I just want to yes extend the invitation out to everyone as well. Uh, we are here as ambassadors. We are one inbox away. Um, we are not judgmental. We are most real as, <laughs> real as you can get. Okay. <laughs> we are not going to judge you. We're going to give you the best advice. We wouldn't tell you anything that we wouldn't tell ourselves. And if we don't have the answer, we have enough networking and connections to get you the answer. So don't ever feel stuck like you don't know where to go or that you don't have anybody on your side because we believe in you. We think everybody has a gift and a purpose. And if, like we said, if you woke up this morning then you still have a calling, so you got to answer it. It's your job to answer it. So don't, you know, surpass yourself. Don't be down on yourself. Stay up, keep your head up, look on the bright side and speak life into yourselves, guys. Stay safe out there. Yes, yes, yes. Well, thank you guys so much. Our ambassadors on the bomb.com. I'm just here to let y'all know. Such a great family. We are really family here. You know, we already been talking about when we get up out of here after we take our trips. We also going to figure out what we can do together as ambassadors. I, I'm so grateful again for you guys. And again, make sure that you stay plugged into As Real As It Gets TV. We go live every Monday and Thursday, guys. Same time, same place. Yes, we are live. And if you miss any of the live shows, you can always go to asrealasitgetstv.com to see any of the replays. All right. Well, my name is Taria Vision Avant. Again, thank you so much to our ambassadors, Rhonda and Zaina. We will see you guys on Thursday, darling. Oh, and don't forget, if you are in the if you are an Urban CEO Academy member, I'm about to put a post in Facebook. And so you need to go over to the Facebook page right now so that you can enter to win. You must be an active academy member. We will select three winners for today's giveaway. All right. So make sure you guys go ahead and plug in and I'll see you on the next show.